Okay, hi there, Jeff here. Let's spend a couple of minutes looking at a short answer question, a calculation question, and a short answer question on economic inactivity. So we're told that in March 2022, 8.8 .8 million people aged between the years 16 to 64 were economically inactive, and we're told that's 21% of the population in working age. Question A, using the data, calculate the size of population of working age. Uh, two marks for that, and uh, three marks to make it up to five. Uh, explain one reason why people of working age might be economically inactive. Calculation first. So uh, the economic activity level is 8.8 .8 million. We're told that's 21% of the population in working age. Therefore, uh, we have to rework the formula. The sense the population in working age will be 8.8 .8 million times by 100 over 21. Uh, and that gives a figure of 41.9 million people. So 21% of 41.9 million is 8.8. .8. And then we're asked, explain one reason why people of working age might be economically inactive. So start with the definition. The economically inactive are people of working age who are neither in work, part-time or full-time, or actively searching for a job. That's the definition. Nearly 9 million people are inactive in the UK. Now, one reason might be that more students are deciding to stay on in full-time education. They might stay on at school or they might stay on at college or perhaps they decide to move into higher education or take a, a degree apprenticeship. So in other words, they're delaying their entry into the active labour market. And this could be because there are limited well-paid jobs available for young people as the economy comes out of recession. There are plenty of jobs out there, but they don't always pay high wages. And studying for qualifications will improve their human capital and earnings potential going forward. Nice definition, nice clear exposition of why one group could be economically inactive. Okay, there we go.